Okay, here's another automation on manhole. We can change this one. Okay. So imagine you have all these AutoCAD drawings and you want to place all the manual here. I see, and some, waste sump. So if you do it manually, then you have to place the waste sump, the manhole, and then the sloping, and then you place again the second manhole, okay? But using the automations in the animal, uh, we can speed up the process, okay? So let's say this one. Okay. So, if I select the first manhole, this one, and then second manhole, then the line, okay, and then run. Heading, now manhole. Oh, okay, okay. Let's try this one again. So it's not reading. Maybe we place this one here. Select second manhole. Run. Ah, I know already because this is is uh, I see. So to go back here to we sump. Okay, we see. Okay, here. So we will use this one false here. Okay, select the first manhole of Wisam. Second manhole, select the line. And let's try to run this one. Okay, it's working. Yeah. So I just selected the wrong script. Save. You are going to bake this one. Okay, so next second we sump, then you select the line. This one, okay. Select again this one. Second manhole, we sump. Run. Okay, select the first manhole, second we sump and the line, run. Okay, I'll select again this one. Second, the line and then run. Okay, this one, the poles. Okay, then select this one again. 
Select the second one, hold. Select the line and run. First one hold, second, then the line, and then run. First one hold, and then second, then the line, run. So easy. So what if the start and end point is reverse so i will show you uh, so if i copy this one and then place it here okay be sump like this one that place so this would be the orientation you so align this okay after that then if I going to run this one, I will copy this one here. Okay. Place it here. <clears throat> if I use the same script, I think it, it will not work because the start and end point of the line is reverse already. So that's why we, we have this uh, Boolean here. So let's try. Uh, if I select this one, and select the second manhole and select the line. Uh, let's just unbake this one first and then run. It will not uh, function. So we must reverse this line here and then run again. And there you go. And as you can see, the sloping of this one will be 1 is to 90 shaded. So that's the some additional to the to this script. Once it, it's working, uh, you change the baking soda to true. Okay. So once it's it's working now, you can select now the first manhole and then the second manhole, and then you select the line. Then you can run this one, and then there you go. It's, it's now working with other side with reverse uh, start and end point of the line. Okay, so this is how uh, we work in our team. This is the process. So we, we are working uh, wisely, smart, you know.
but my computer's a little slow today. I don't know. Select the line. Okay, that's it. Uh, the script now you will not uh, compress this one since it's a large script. I'm sorry. So this one, anyway, the this script, uh, the, the unedited is in the Beam Dynamo site, Dynamo Beam site. So you can download the unedited uh, version for this one, then you just update. Okay, that's it. Thank you.